Well, Lucy, um, it gives me great pleasure to uh, present this brooch, this first of all silver sweetheart brooch to you to give back to your family. And there it is. A family heirloom back where it belongs. This First World War sweetheart brooch was given to Jane Cannon by her husband Arthur over a hundred years ago and has now been returned to the family. Because it was so out of the blue, it, it's wonderful and it's a really precious piece of family history and it's a great story to tell the grandkids. Jane's sweetheart, Arthur, who she went on to marry, um, would have given her that name Pim. She'd have been out probably being called out to do something with the cows of one of the animals and she'll have lost it and I'd imagine she'll look for it for a long time. The man responsible for finding it is local metal detectorist John M. Bradbury, who documented the discovery on his YouTube channel. Wow, that's, that's brilliant, that's beautiful. See, it tells a language, it tells you a language, this machine. Dig it, rubbish. Well, I was out on a, on a normal day's field where I found loads of uh, World War II artifacts, buttons and coinage and all sorts of things. And I think 10 foot away from the gate, I got this, what we call, a high ID number on my machine. I was in deep shock, was this brooch laid down and it said, Jane. Showed a friend of mine and he says, you know what you've got there? I says, no, you have a first World War sweetheart brooch. Wow, I said, wow, that's fantastic. I said, now what we got to do is find the family. And that's exactly what he did finding the previous owners of the land, which took him to the shooter's arms near Burnley. You don't think of something like that being found, and certainly being found in the good condition, considering there's been a lot of cows that have been <laughs> trampling on that over the years. But it does make me curious if there's any other items now that are, that are up there. Jamal Williams-Thomas, ITV News, Southfield.